Hey, what's up guys, Soldier Knows Best here. Now recently Intel invited me to check out some of the new technology that they've been working on. Now most importantly, they showed me Intel RealSense. And I was able to see how this technology has advanced over the past few years. Cause I remember seeing it at CES a long time ago, but I was able to go out to CES a couple weeks ago and be able to check out Intel's show floor and see all of this new stuff. And one of the main things that I saw was that these cameras are not only being used for fun or for games, but also for real world applications with different jobs or different types of occupations that require you know, a lot of knowledge to be available for you. But first, I'm going to start off with the fun stuff that I think most consumers will like. Now, one, they did have a different setup with their drone. So this drone does have Intel RealSense technology built inside of it with the camera. And it's able to kind of sense and see things around it and be able to avoid obstacles or different type of environmental hazards that the actual user will probably have to be looking out for the drone. Now the drone can think for itself and be able to prevent, you know, a catastrophe like flying into a tree or something like that. Uh, but then also, too, if you ever wanted to put yourself inside of a game as an avatar, this is easily the best way to do it with Intel RealSense because you're able to even just use a tablet and be able to kind of scan your face and it'll be able to put it into a game. And I love Fallout 4 and I love the way you can customize the characters in Fallout 4, uh, but this is definitely just takes it to another level where you can be able to actually see yourself in the game. Now I was able to go hands-on with RealSense in combination with the HTC Vive to get a feel how it will work with virtual reality. So I had two controllers in my hand, there were some cameras around tracking my movement and I was able to actually start to draw a house in this 3D world and basically the house sucks because I can't draw worth of crap but I was able to actually move around what I was drawing and tilt my head and lean forward to really get a better closer look at what I was doing. And as I mentioned before this technology is not just going to be made for fun use just for consumer use. You can also use it with different occupations that may require you to have a lot of information at your fingertips. And one of the examples is the Daiquiri Smart Helmet which allows somebody who may have to be working with pipes and a lot of different pressure and information that they need to monitor, they can actually walk to those pipes and using augmented reality, be able to see an overlay of all the information that is going through, how these pipes are working, if they're not working properly, or they need to order a certain part, all this will pop up on the screen. It can even read the gauges um, in real time that you are looking at using this helmet. So this looks very similar to the Microsoft HoloLens that Microsoft talked about last year, but this is already shipping, like people can already buy it right now. So Intel's definitely a little bit ahead of the curve when it comes to other companies as far as getting this technology out into the market so people can use it and see how it really works. And there's a vast number of things that they showed off as well, including their 3D, which is this three-dimensional replay um, technology they're gonna be showing where you can actually break down and watch a replay, just like you would do if you ever played NBA 2K or NBA Live. If you go into the replay, you can kind of zoom the camera anywhere on the court. Well, this is very close to bringing that to, to real life where you can actually look at any type of replay, just not in sports, but anything, and be able to move around freely um, on your own and do this from your computer or from your phone. So I'm going to wrap this up, guys. I just wanna show off what I was able to see that Intel is doing this year some of the products that they are starting to ship right now. But if you want more information about what they're doing, I'll leave a link down below. You can go ahead and check it out for yourself. But also, I wanna hear what you think about all this technology. Is there anything really that you're specifically interested in? Let me know by leaving that comment down below. But like always, thanks for watching this video, guys. I will see you in my next video, which will be very soon. And thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.